trace so far reported from the airport, but it doesn't mean uh, that it's not happening elsewhere. So we'll start things off by taking you out here to a view of the mobile weather watcher, which is currently looks like they're outside the link. Yeah. Well done. Good, spot to be. Good timing to get to the sports <laughs> complex. Yeah, guys. But notice this. I mean, on the side of the road and on the road itself, there's nothing sticking right now, and you can see the clear beads of uh, snowflakes that have since melted to just drops, water droplets here on the, um, the on what is the word I'm looking for? The hood, the hood of the weather watcher. <laughs> yeah, it's late in the day. You know how like you get to that point of the day where you're at the end of your day, like what's that word again? Yeah, so clearly some beads of moisture out there, but uh, it's it's again more than anything just a damp and a wet ride out there for the lunch rush. Let's switch it over here and take a look at one of our. Uh, Live neighborhood network shots where it's it's almost like a different day when you look at this shot because it seems like something completely different is happening. It's the same system and it's just having the opportunity to bring down some snow a little bit more heavily here across uh, places like Redding or just next door to it here in West Lawn, PA. But I also show you this camera because look at the shaking going on. The wind has really begun to pick up out there and outside Whitfield Elementary School. Granted, it may not be sticking easily to the playground, but there's a lot of shaking going on, meaning that the temperature of 25 is probably going to feel that much chillier anytime you feel that wind blow. Let's go all the way out to the shore points. You had a coastal flood advisory up and down the Delaware beaches and Jersey shoreline earlier on today. That's now been allowed to expire, uh, but the high tide has since receded too. It was a minor flooding issue. Uh, still very damp in this area. 32 degrees the temperature at the Boardwalk Plaza in Rehoboth. And even though it looks like it's mainly just damp roads from rain, it is technically falling as snow and just melting on contact in a lot of spots and leading to, again, the ponding, the damp roads out there. So you're still going to have to to contend with this for the next couple of hours, but there's already a somewhat of a back edge setting up back through the north and west most suburbs. When we zoom it out, you'll notice that there's two separate pieces of energy, one making its full departure. We had this second guy move in late this morning and it continues to cross the region. Now in its wake, it does clear out very nicely later on tonight. So let's time all of that out for you just in the next few hours. Again, you know, not everyone's getting hit by this at any given point, and it is a very minor disturbance. So we're still not expecting much more than a coating to upwards of two inches or so at absolute worst. And at this rate, I'll be shocked to see much stick to the even the shrubbery or even the uh, unpaved surfaces here in the city, since much of it's had a difficult time sticking up until this point. Come 5 p.m., there will likely still be some problems with visibility up and down the Garden State Parkway, and then it all really does clear out of here. And as Lauren had mentioned in her hit earlier in the show, refreezing then could be an issue into the overnight and early morning hours of tomorrow. Once this mess is out of here, we see high pressure pay at least a brief visit, and that means full sunshine come tomorrow. But there's already a new front waiting in the wings by Thursday. So bulk of the day Thursday looks totally fine. It's Thursday late night into the early morning hours of Friday that this is going to cross through. So heads up if you're tailgating for wing bowl too. There could be some flakes flying out there at that point. That's also Groundhog Day, so uh, we'll see hedging our bets right now whether Phil's going to see his, uh, his shadow or not. Now looking at the temperature scheme, Mid 30s is pretty much where we're going to settle in for the next couple of hours. And later on tonight, the temperature will drop off easily. But we have been very steady with these values through the course of the day, and it will stay that way for the rest of the afternoon. But later tonight, once this disturbance is out of here, the temperatures drop with no problem down to 20 degrees. So absolutely cold enough for it to refreeze. If there's a, pu a little puddle that's left over from what's falling now, that could be an issue. Looking forward, though, we do have these additional chances for snow that we talked about. So again, early. Friday morning, maybe minor nuisance accumulations at worst. And then again on, yep, Super Bowl Sunday, maybe a little light snow once more pushing through. The key here, though, none of these systems looks like a major one for our area. We're coming right back.